Lillian, Pete's a very good looking guy. I think we've uh, hit a nerve. We will talk about that at the end of this presentation. So you're gonna have to stick around, buy this, and then I will let you know about Peter being a model. Do you know what I find interesting about this product? <laughs> and now we look at him, we're like, oh. all right. You're nice. Can I tell you what was interesting to me last night when I was prepping this item? Yes. I really wanted to make this like as plain as day. There were reviews and reviews and reviews about this product. People rave reviewed a product they've never used. It's they've so cool. never yeah. had to use this product and they came out of their took their time out of their day to come and say, I love this even though I've never used it. You're like, what would possess people to do that? It is a way to put out fire. It's a product you buy and you hope you never have to use it. But think about right now, if there were a fire in your home right, right now, how would you put it out before calling anybody, before doing anything, right? Whether it's in the backyard, it's in the kitchen, whatever it is. Is it the fire extinguisher? First off, do you even have a fire extinguisher? Right. If you do, it's huge. It's a 10 step process to get it to use. It's very intimidating. I've never had to use one, so I don't really know what I'm doing. That's the, that's the big point. You've right. never done it. So I would have to read instructions to figure out what I'm doing. And once you do use one of those, it is a mess. Like a that's full right. on mess. One time when I was in junior high, one of the kids set it off in the, in the chemistry lab, sure. being funny. It, the whole room, we couldn't use that room for like a, a week. This is Fire Aid. A customer pick, non-toxic fire extinguisher. It's a two-pack, I have them. This is what makes this different. If you can spray hairspray, if you can spray a bug spray, you can use this to put out a fire. Last time we saw this on air, November of 2022. Wow. That's when I bought it. Yeah. I bought it and I, I have it at my house. $29.99 for a two-pack, again, it blew my mind the reviews I was reading. Well, I think what everyone's commenting on is that now they feel safe yes. in some of those areas around the house where those fires can potentially happen. So think about this. If that fire could happen, what are you prepared to do? Are you ready for that fire? Have you ever used a fire extinguisher? Just like you were saying, Tina, mm -hmm. you see it, you know it's there, but you've never used it. So in that emergency, when it's a very stressful situation, what is it going to be like for you? What if you could have fire aid there? And the great thing is we're giving you two, so now you don't have to have that fire extinguisher in one room, maybe it's in the garage, maybe it's under the sink. You can have this right where you need it. And you grab this and you know how to use it. There's just one, look at that, just like you're saying, maybe this is bug spray, yep. maybe it's, it is the hairspray yep. like you mentioned. Yep. You know how to use this, you grab it and you're set to go. The other part, you talked about the mess. This is non-corrosive, non-toxic, it's water-based. But here's what this is gonna do. It's gonna instantly cool that surface and put that fire out, which I think is you know, an amazing thing. And now we think about fires. This isn't just an emergency. You could be having, you know, yep. you, you might be outside using your fire pit. You might be using that grill. Think about this, you could be tailgating and you wanna yep. have fire aid nearby to cool off that grill so you can put it back in the car. But in an emergency, this is the way to go. And Tina, think uh -huh. about this. Why are we talking about it right now? Right. The winter time. You think, well, we're not outside doing some of those things, but we're inside mm -hmm. doing a lot of things that having fire aid nearby is so important. Candles. Yep. Maybe we're having that fireplace, we're doing that. Maybe we're using space heaters and things like that. You've heard some of the yep. stories about them. They can get near the drapes and the curtains and things like that. S things can happen with that fireplace. You know, obviously we just passed the holidays, but it's a great right. time when you have that live tree in the house that can be a fire hazard. All those things, when you have fire aid nearby, you are prepared. So let me show you how this works really okay. quick. So I just have a little trash can over here, and I want you to see Obviously, it's super easy to use. It's just that one touch of a button. But here's the other part about this. We're gonna be able to have a stream from a distance, so we're gonna be able to start fire far away. Yes. So you don't have to get right up on top of that fire. You're gonna be able to sort of walk your way in. So if I spray this, and then I can walk closer to it and be able to put that fire out that's what it's all about. Also, you can use each can multiple times. Yeah. I think a fire extinguisher, it's a one and done, isn't it? It can because it's pressurized and yes. you have to have that, you know, you have to have it checked every single year. You have to have some, and who's doing that? Nobody. We all forget <laughs> and we're not doing that. Check this out with Fire Aid, you're talking about a five year shelf life. So you can have this where you need it. Look at these are all the things I was just talking yeah. about. There you can see this is why we need it. The cool thing is when you have Fire Aid nearby, that small fire that starts. Yep. You can, you can get it put out immediately so it doesn't, doesn't become a huge emergency. So however you're using this, grab it, hit the base of that fire, and this non-toxic formula, water-based, yep. clean up can be just with a damp towel, is going to instantly cool that surface. Oh, I think we're showing like camping. Yeah, a, a perfect. 
anytime you, you, you know, I, I like to think about fire aid, so fun stuff, right? There's a lot right. of fun stuff yeah. where we could have a fire. It's, the, it's the, the tailgating, the camping, the fire pits, all those things, barbecuing outside. Have the fire aid nearby. So when you want to put out that campfire, you can be safe doing that. But if emergencies happen, you have that fire aid nearby. So the fun stuff, you want to make sure that you're being safe. Yeah. And again, the emergencies that can happen in your home, where's it gonna happen a lot of the times? So where do you wanna have that fire aid, yep. right? In the kitchen, let's go with the kitchen first. So cooking things that can happen, maybe we forget to turn that burner off, maybe that, uh, maybe that hand towel gets close, mm -hmm. maybe you forget something in the oven, these things happen. That's why fire aid is so important. And, and you're the, getting two just yeah, for that reason, absolutely. right? So you can have it one in the garage, one in the yeah, kitchen, one in the garage, one, kitchen, wherever kitchen, it laundry is. Laundry room's kind of a big one. Sometimes the dryer can do some wacky things. And, Absolutely, and I, I said I read the reviews last night, right. and I was scrolling and scrolling trying to find somebody that's used it, because yeah. I was like, the ones that I, I pulled out of the reviews, one said I bought it and I gave it to my mom, so it's just peace of mind, comfort that she has that's one. perfect, that's what right? it is, peace of mind, yeah. Sense of relief, peace of mind, the perfect size to put in my kitchen. Um, so think about this, if you had one of those big, huge fire extinguishers, it probably goes in one place, it's, you know, you'd have to run to go get it. I bought this as a two pack, it was actually more expensive when I bought it, but it didn't matter to me, right? Like, it was just like, Yes, I need a fire extinguisher. I put it in my cart. I checked out. I just, you know, knew it was something I needed. I put one under my sink is where mine is, and then we have one where my first aid kit is in my house. So two different locations. We know where they're at. It is the size of like a big bug spray can or something sure. like that. It's a very like normal size can. It's not something where you have to like build a place for a fire extinguisher. Do you have one? Do you know how to use it if you do have it? And it's one of those that, again, you don't want a fire to get to a point where you need to call 911 or get if you can take care of it on all of these smaller levels in something that you're not intimidated by worth the 29.99 so that really gets us down to $15 a fire extinguisher not bad I mean it's something we don't think about enough yeah but when you start to think about what could happen it just makes sense to have something like fire aid around we're looking at the kitchen right now I wanted to touch on something this is going to work on 97 percent of those yes. fires that we have in and around our house but we get questions a lot about a grease fire how can this water-based formula do a great job on a grease fire but here's what's gonna happen no matter what you use on a grease fire you're gonna get a brief flare-up that can happen okay. with that fire but this fire aid is going to immediately then cool that surface and it's going to put it out so it's going to work in those situations so if you are doing that kind of cooking in the kitchen fire aid's going to work for you here th different emergencies that can happen have it nearby you know how to use it you'll feel confident doing yeah. some of those other things you're doing fun things outside it also makes sense i'll show you one more time how we're using okay. this all we're doing is pressing that button. You've used many different types of, you know, aerosol cans and bug sprays and hairspray, things like that. This works the same way. But from a distance, it's always going to be a great opportunity to come from a distance and then move in close, spray that at the base of the fire, and it instantly cools that surface so you're able to put that fire out before it becomes a huge problem and does a lot of damage. But you feel comfortable also using it in the kitchen. Yep. Because you take out one of those chemical-based fire extinguishers, you mentioned at the very yes. top, what a mess that can be. The cleanup is almost impossible. Here, you can grab a damp cloth, you can clean that up, and be ready to go again. You so have to have muscles just to pick <laughs> up one of those. I mean, they're heavy. They're heavy duty. I've, yeah. I don't, I think you have to pull like a pin. Sure, there's a pin. There's usually a tab on there that's keeping the pin in so it yes. doesn't accidentally come out. So it can really be intimidating. And you've never used one. So imagine what yeah. you're like when suddenly you have a fire emergency. It's a very stressful situation. Being able to grab something like this, and I love this, we're looking at it. You're using a fireplace? Hey, just grab the fire aid, put it nearby. If you know you're gonna be outside using the barbecue grill, or you're doing the fire pit outside, just grab the fire aid, have it nearby. That's the most important thing. It's easy to move around, easy to take with you, easy to put in the car, put in the garage when you're working yeah. on the car. Wherever it is, just have it nearby and you know that you know how to use it in an emergency. Give it to someone who you know has moved into a new place, one of the reviews mentioned, you know, that their mom had gotten a little yep. bit older and yep. was still cooking, which is great. Have fire aid nearby yep. just in case you're going to feel better, peace of mind, and you have two of them, two different rooms, so it's always close. If you have some, like, um, somebody, your daughter or your son that's moving into a new place all by themselves, yeah. they're by themselves for the first time, you just buy it, you put it in there, you show, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like that exactly. peace of mind. 100%. It just was so interesting to me that, like, I got past the first two pages of customer reviews on this customer pick, and every single person said, 
I just want to say I review this because it makes me feel good. Like it makes me feel like I'm, I'm, I have that security. I know I can use it. I have that sense of relief, that peace of mind, that comfort for a family member. I love the size of it. And I'm like, how crazy is that? That and all these people have never used a product they spent money on, but they love the way it makes them feel like right. I am prepared. That's if prepared, you got the today's exactly. special, right? Which sure, is going to be your I, fire I alarm, earlier, yeah. right? You got your smoke alarm. Super. And important. now you have something they can put it out. Done. Like you are so set. Like that. There's no amount of money really that can compare to how you feel. Uh, when I put, it was. It was more expensive when I bought the two pack. Um, I don't think I've seen it at this price yet. But when I bought it, I took it home. Every time we had a nanny at the house, we've had people stay over at the house. Sure. I'm like, one's under the sink, one's over by the, the first aid yeah. kit, and I know everybody knows how to use it, and exactly. it's easy. And the technology works, which is important. So yes. you know it's there, you're prepared, but it works. It's used by fire departments all over the country, so you're gonna really feel good about it, like you're saying. Forget, what's the inventor guy's name? I, pre I always present with him. I forget his name, Ron. Ron, Ron. Things, yeah. yes, uh, he's uh, fabulous. He really is, you know, he put his heart and his soul and his passion into this. So a two pack for $29.99 customer pick. But I gotta give the fans what they want and they're all saying we wanna see. No, they're not. They're Peter not a, Kilcullen. They're not saying that. Your bio what said you were a mom. Is that left, you, what, what is, is that a book with your face on it? Were you on the front of it? Is it a romance novel? I, I believe it is. That was way, way back. Who, do you know Many. who I thought that was on the front of that book? Who? Everyone's going to kill me. Who's the guy that was with Kit? The actor? Hasselhoff. You look like Hasselhoff in that, in that, on that book. We were friends you look like once, you and I, Tina. Oh, I thought you, said you and the Hoff were friends. No. <laughs> this is brutal. No, I don't know the Hoff, but thank you. This I is... think that's a compliment. I think he's like a... Is he? A sex right. symbol guy. You're welcome, world. There's Peter Kilcullen. Um, I'm going to walk and tell you about...